This visitor center serves as a welcoming point of arrival. An undulating green roof blends gracefully into the landscape. Curved glass surfaces minimize heat gain and maximize natural illumination. Native grasses occupy the roof and drought-resistant species populate the landscape. It defines a new threshold between the city and the landscapes of the 52-acre garden. A reinterpretation of a traditional academic quad building creates an environment that facilitates collaboration. Two three-story interconnected buildings and an auditorium are organized around a courtyard. A reinvention of ways to light, simplicity and richness of natural long-lasting materials. Humble yet sophisticated, the center offers a serene atmosphere for study and reflection. A beautiful site builds off the vocabulary of tobacco barns and covered bridges. The long, narrow footprint divided into a main building and small boat storage bay connects visually to the waterfront. A clean, clear, sustainable design concept. This boathouse is beautiful, not just in aesthetics, but also in operability. The only U.S. airport located inside a national park. A lodge-like atmosphere in awe-inspiring surroundings. A flood of natural daylight illuminates the hall through the glass curtain wall. Rusted steel, wood, and stone in a regionally inspired solution. This renovated airport has an iconic presence in its beautiful environment. an incredible transformation of an important civic landmark. The renovations restored a building's historic character with modern upgrades, rediscovering the splendor of the original ornamental plaster ceilings. Rehabilitation and reuse helped to achieve LEED Platinum certification. This stylistic transportation hub successfully bridges the 20th century to the 21st and beyond. This mausoleum creates a delicate balance between active communal spaces and quiet contemplative ones. It challenges the idea of mausoleums as dark, introverted places. Nestled into an existing hillside, it fuses with its surroundings and preserves the cemetery's pastoral landscape. This elegant building is sensitive to life and death, respectful, understated, and appropriate. This unusual design befits an emotional museum experience and reinforces an unsettling journey. The museum was submerged under an urban public park with pathways connecting both park users and museum visitors. The formed concrete roof compresses the space in response to the intensity of displays. At the end, the space opens up to daylight, conveying a sense of relief. This museum is a fitting and powerful vessel for its affecting exhibits. Named from the French word for stone, this residence almost disappears into a rock outcropping. A stunning juxtaposition of built and natural forms. The rough rock contrasts with the refined textures of the furnishings. A wonderful design response to a beautiful setting. 
This exquisitely crafted home has a fascinating medieval modern feel. A 1950s gymnasium has transformed into a thoughtful place for worship with space for art and music instruction. A central focal point illuminates from above with soft light entering on all sides. Inspired by Quaker tradition using a simple palette of wood and plaster. A fascinating use of light and molding of space that's open, bright and engaging. A site's historical context is linked with its contemporary purpose. Once part of the Underground Railroad, this space is now a celebration of African American art. The project transformed the ruins of freight warehouses into a complex of galleries, studios, public gardens, and a theater. Salvaged materials are juxtaposed with timeless textures. Designed to last for centuries, this is a sensitive reuse that's also a clean break from the past. A 100th year anniversary reinvents the library to modernize space and increase public access. An original Beaux-Arts Museum by Cass Gilbert revived. The multi-story public atrium now welcomes visitors. The ornamental cast plaster ceiling was repaired and revived. Well detailed, restrained, and bold all at once, this bright and progressive intervention is sensitive to its host building.